Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the connection establishment and data transfer and connection termination in TCP guys. In our last lecture, we did discuss about TCP header in detail guys. If you did not watch the previous lecture, please go back and watch it and come back guys. Because that lecture is really important and it's most commonly repeated question in your theoretical examinations or in competitive examinations. You need to have an idea of that, how the header will be there. Because there are multiple things through which he can ask you questions, right? Okay. Okay. So now let us go through how the connections are established first, guys. Okay. So we all know the three-way handshake, right? Okay. So even if you don't know, I'll be giving you an explanation. Don't worry. Okay. So assume that you are trying to call your friend. Okay. So you you called him, you dialed the number, you called him. He got the ringtone and he picked up your call. And then you'll start talking. Hello, you'll be saying. And he'll be responding back. So from here, the data is transferring started, right? So the first two steps are nothing but initialization. So you sent a request, he received and he, he accepted it guys. And after that, the original data transfer will occur. So this three steps, like the first step, the second step and the third step, these is nothing but the three way handshake guys. Guys, if you are still confused, we did discuss about this in detail in one of our lectures in this unit only. In the initial stages, we discussed about the connection establishment and all there you can find it. Okay. So to establish a connection, we use a three-way handshake. Okay, guys, please concentrate while I am explaining you because I did not write the explanation theory for this. You can just write the explanation that I am saying you like how the flow is happening. You need to write. That's it. Okay, so initially assume that the host one and host two assume that host one is you and host two is a server or someone. Okay, so you are sending a request. So here a request we will be sending as a sync guys. So sync S Y N is nothing but synchronized thing. So basically you want to establish a synchronized network where the sender will be sending these many bits per this much time and the receiver is ready to receive them at that rate. That's nothing but a synchronized device and it is a full duplexed. Like both of them can send the data and receive the data. Okay. Okay. So I hope everyone watched the previous lecture, right? So in which I did inform about sequence and acknowledgement. So if a sequence number is equals to X and it is received by the other, then the other will be sending the acknowledgement of X plus one guys. Remember this. Okay. So the reason why I'm stressing these things out is because we will be using them in our diagrammatical representation, how the data is flowing. Okay. Here we sent a sync of sequence of one, whereas the acknowledgement is a sent with, we acknowledged the sequence two and assume the sequence number as 10, 12 guys here. Okay. So we sent the data of 12 and we sent the acknowledgement. So if you notice here, here we are sending both data and acknowledgement. So this concept is nothing but piggy banking guys. Okay. So similarly, once this is received. Okay. Okay. Sorry. This is not uh, okay. Sorry for that guys. Here we are only establishing, right? So here you are saying that you are ready to send the packet to 12, 12th segment or 12th thing. And you are sending the acknowledgement for it. So you are sending acknowledgement for second. So it is ready to receive now. So in this way. So once the establishment is done, then it will be sending the acknowledgement with data. So from here on the data will be sending here. I, you can use the piggy banking word. Okay. Okay. So once it is done, the data transfer will continue. So if you want to draw the same diagram without these numbers. So if you are confused here, you can say that the sequence number is X guys here first. Okay. In the next while the host two is sending the sequence number is Y something else, the sequence number and the acknowledgement is nothing but for this plus one, because you need the next thing. Other than this, you need the next one. So that's the reason why you'll be sending the next value. Okay. At the end, it will be nothing but both plus one plus one. It will be sending back. Okay. So if you want a simple word, simple words diagram, it will be in this way. Sync. That is nothing but you are asking for a synchronized connection. Then sync plus acknowledgement, then acknowledgement, and then you'll start sending the data. That's the whole logic. So now let us go through how the data is sent now. Okay. So we did discuss about one particular optional bit, right? So let me press the paper. Okay. So in optionals, I wrote MSSS, right? That is nothing but maximum segment size guys. So basically everything depends on the segments, right? So we need to store them in buffers and all those things. So basically the whole program or the whole data is divided into segments so that the transfer will be easy guys. Okay. So let us assume these are the assumptions that I took guys. So assume the MSS is nothing but minimum segment size is given as 10 bytes. So only 10 bytes can be transferred at a time. The data I'm talking, no need, don't think about header, the header weights and everything will be separate. And this is only I'm talking about data. Okay. So H1 sends 21 to 31. So these are 10 bytes, right? Yes. And receives it till 71 assume. 
So basically it received till 71. So now the H2 sends a request to 71 to 81 and receives till 31. Guys, don't get confused. We'll, once we are going through the diagram, it will be clear. Okay. So basically this is a diagram which is collected in between the transactions, guys. So the data is transferring. So in between we collected assume in that way. Okay. So host 1 is sending the sequence number of 21. So here we are full duplex, right? So both can transfer data. So here it is sending a sequence 21 and it is acknowledging for 71. So it indirectly states that before it collected till 70 guys. So it incremented by 1 and it is sending. Similarly here it is receiving, receiving from 21. Sorry, it should be 69, 61, right? Because we are sending 10, 10 at once, right? So it will be plus 10. Okay. Okay. So from 61, now it is acknowledging for 71. So it wants until 71. Okay. Similarly, if similarly, it will respond with it is received 71, right? So it sorry, it wants 71 host one. So it will be responding with the 71 sequence and it will be acknowledging the 21. Guys, if you are a bit confused with this, take some small examples, guys. So assume that you want to send a 1, 2, 3 and here from this side, you want to send ABC. Okay, and first you assume in between. So first both of them connection is established and first assume that this transferred the data one. So it received it and it sent the acknowledgement and it received it and it sent A. Okay, after that it is sending two, it is sending B, it is sending a three, it is sending a C. If you observe here, so you are clear with the sequence like what point you want. So here we want the first point. So we've sent one, second point two, third point three. Here also we want the first point A, second point B, third point B, C. Okay. So similarly here the difference is 10. Here the difference is only 1. So 1, 2, 3. Difference is 10 means 21, 31, 41, 51 like that. Okay. Similarly acknowledgement is given for the next term guys. So here once if this is sending the acknowledgement, it will send the acknowledgement of second. So it will be saying that please send the second term like that. Okay. So in that way it will be working guys. I am explaining you it in detail so that it will be clear for you. Okay. Okay. So basically here if you observe here it is sending the sequence number with acknowledgement means both the data and acknowledgement are transferring. So this concept is nothing but piggy banking. Okay. 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 So once the data transfer whole is done, it will be sending it then it will be sending acknowledgement, right? So after this the termination takes place. We'll be discussing about that step next. Okay. Okay. So basically the thing that you should remember is the sequence number is nothing but what data is going now. Acknowledgement is what data it needs now. That's it. Remember in that way and understand, try understanding the example case. It's really clear. So don't get confused. So if you are confusing, change the numbers to 1, 10, 2 and 10 in that way. Like give the same number so that it will be clear for you. Okay. Okay. So now let us go through the connection termination guys. Okay. So connection termination is nothing but you are terminating the connection now. Okay. So basically here we will be using the sequence number with the fin guys. Okay. So fin is nothing but you can assume that as a short code for closing the connection. So sequence number fin equal to 1 means you are getting ready for closing the connection. Means host 1 is ready to cancel or to close the connection and you send the acknowledgement. Whereas host 2 also sent the fin. So basically if both fins are nothing but you can assume them as a disconnect or disconnect protocols guys okay so so our disconnect messages okay okay so both of them are sending hence the, con the connection will be disconnected after this okay so in this way that can be directly done okay so i have just to return the points here guys so basically if it is saying in this way so h1 is ready to release now h2 will release also release all the resources re reserved for h1 this is nothing but half closed okay similarly here once it is reached here so basically h2 is also ready to re release and the acknowledgement was also received hence h2 is h1 will receive release and it sends the acknowledgement and h1 once it is receiving the acknowledgement it will release in that way okay similarly if in between if someone is asking for fin and if you got acknowledgement in return here we got fin so we directly disconnected if you got acknowledgement in return still the data transfer is left so again the data transfer will complete and again the fin will be then sent and if again the response was also fin Sorry, here it is done, right? So this is sent fin. So it this from host to all the data is transferred continuously, and at the end the host to sent fin. So this fin and this fin are matched. Hence the host one will send the acknowledgement, and both are disconnected. Okay, okay. So if you want me to repeat, so basically fin from the host one to host two, and fin from host two to host one will disconnect the connection. That's it, right? 
so if both are ready it will disconnect okay yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea guys even i was a bit not so that much clear because i cannot explain these kind of concepts really easily okay so that's the main issue that i also faced with these things because these numbers and everything will be a bit confusing for me also okay okay so i hope everyone got at least some basic idea right okay so in the next lecture we will be going on through tcp connection management model guys okay so this is the steps that it will be happening guys okay so i'll be just showing you the diagram okay so these things we'll be discussing guys okay so let us meet in the next lecture and let us discuss about them okay thank you thanks for watching